Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a video and I was going to do a comparison between the Ibanez RX40 and my Strat, Renee. But there's been a hiccup in the owner of this Ibanez getting the strings for it. So right now it's got dull old strings on it from my Strat. Um, it was all I could get my hands on at the time to get it working. And my Strat has brand new strings on it. I had one package of good strings. So it wouldn't really be a fair comparison video having one guitar with brand new bright clear tone strings. Well, not clear tone brand, but clear sounding strings. And comparing that to something with dull strings. So wouldn't be a very fair comparison. So I'm going to wait until either he gets the strings for it or just suck it up and do the comparison anyway. Um, I'm still new at this, but I figured I would drop in and give you all an update for those of you who do watch my videos. So, I just had my doctor's appointment about two days ago with um, Cash Ketamine. My doctor who gave me the Vivance and all that. So, <laughs> everything is going great. I'm still doing great with the Vivance, and actually I've got a positive update on top of this. So, last week, um, I had a dream, a, a using dream, and in the past on my channel I've talked about using dreams. In fact, I actually talked about one right after having it, and... I completely came apart at the seams emotionally while explaining it. So this time it's going to be different. So in the dream, um, I was with the person who got me started on crystal meth. Okay. I'm not going to give any names because it's, well, none of anybody's business, but more to the point in the dream, I don't know why, but I was in this person's living room and we were talking and I remember being told by this person, yeah, I've been clean for a year and I'm getting my kids back soon. Okay? So, if you knew the person, you'd understand why I'm, why I'm laughing at this. <laughs> so, I'm looking around this living room, okay? As they're telling me they're clean and sober for a year and getting their kids back soon. I'm looking around their living room and I'm seeing computer monitors taken apart, and it, I could only guess they were stripped apart for gold that's in the circuit boards. I see VCRs torn apart. There's even an electric guitar with all the electronics taken apart, okay? And as they're telling me that they've been clean for a year, I couldn't help but kind of just, seriously? You, you gotta be kidding me, right? So I look at the person dead in the eyes, and I'm like, do you really think I'm that stupid? You can't lie to me about this. I can see right through it. And referring to the whole, it takes one to know one thing. Okay, so she returns me calling her on her lie with, Fuck you. Okay, really? So then she pulls out her pipe. All right. The, the typical glass meth pipe with the tube and the glass ball on the end with a massive rock in it, okay? She takes a hit right in front of me, blows out this huge plume of smoke in my face, and let me tell you, I could literally smell it. It smelled so real. And then she offered me the pipe and said, here, maybe you'll feel better, okay? Now, here's the point where everything has changed, okay? Because I took the pipe and I looked at it for a minute and yeah, I'll admit I thought about it, but as soon as I started thinking about it, I, I don't know what came over me, but the words no came in my mind. And I took the pipe, dropped it on the ground and I stomped on it and I crushed it into a bunch of dust making sure not even she could salvage anything from it. And then that's when I woke up. And I, I remember waking up and 
First thing I did was chuckle because it was so preposterous and ridiculous and absurd. Uh, I, I just sat there laying on my back, staring at the ceiling, laughing at how ridiculous this dream was. Now, if you had known me while I was using, you would know that a dream like that would have sent me off and running right next door to get some, okay? You would know that within an hour of waking up from a dream like that, I'd be doing dope. This is where things have changed. The dream did not trigger me. In fact, I laughed at it. <laughs> so, yeah, here's my positive update. Things are no longer being a trigger. Triggers are starting to, well, become less frequent, for one. They don't affect me like they did. This is a perfect example, and this is not the first time I've noticed a trigger is no longer a trigger anymore. Now I'm at a point where I can actually talk about my addiction and the things that I did without it triggering me. And in a, in a TV show, perfect example. I was watching a YouTube video a while back about addiction, and I, I can't remember what show it was, but it was one of those shows where somebody took a section of it and they posted it on YouTube, and it was about addiction. And it showed a bunch of paraphernalia, meaning glass pipes, baggies, and stuff like that, in the shot. And there was a time where seeing that, simply seeing the tools used to smoke meth, would send me out for a bag. And it didn't do that this time. So, hmm. Now, I'm not saying I'm completely recovered, because there are still a few triggers out there, but this is a huge stride in the right direction, guys. I, I can't even begin to explain to you in detail just how different things are now. And I'm blessed. I shouldn't be alive. I shouldn't have escaped that life alive. So I'm doing the best I can to make the best of every day. Because it's, well the right thing to do for one it's what i want to do for myself and i've never really cared much for doing things to make things better for myself because i always had the opinion you know what does it matter it's just going to go south anyway so why bother and you know i'm starting to change my way of thinking on that because life is short when you've walked the path i have and been stuck on that path for over a decade. You come to appreciate the little things as they come. Because I lived hell on earth. And I came out alive. God rescued me. So, I owe my life to God. And as I always say when talking about this... I also owe a lot of it to that girl who left me. Wherever she is out there in the world. Wherever you are, if you see this, thank you. You made the hard choice. And you walked away like you should have. Like I made you promise that you would do. Should I ever reach the point that I reached. And good for you. As much as it hurt, good for you. So thank you. Because that you, whether you realize it or not, led me straight to God. Which set me free. So, thank you. Anyway, guys. I just wanted to do an update because I haven't been doing videos lately. Frankly, our furnace, our heater for our trailer is literally down for the count. It's got a bad inducer motor, and uh, without that, nothing will work. So, <laughs> we're kind of dealing with the cold right now, and there's a reason why I'm wearing two long sleeve shirts and got a blanket wrapped around my legs right now, sitting in bed. And that's also why I haven't been doing many guitar videos. I'm so cold that my injuries to my hands are haunting me right now, so... Anyway, 
on to more positive things. So I'm probably going to try and play a guitar video today. I don't know yet. Um, we'll see. It depends on if it gets warm enough. But right now I'm going to go and finish my coffee because I'm still half asleep at the moment. So have a good day. God bless you. You're important in this world and you are loved. Never forget that. And also, never forget, it's never too late. There's always a way. See ya.